Morning everybody, it's the Fragrant Jock here with another Honest Opinion. Uh, today's Honest Opinion is another KDJ or J. I've been quite impressed with this company as in um, customer service, getting it to you, things like that. Um, and the fragrances are the most important. Um, I have been quite impressed with most of the fragrances. I was disappointed with uh, the Oligarth, but I was only disappointed because it was so much like Ter de MS. It wasn't in the fragrance itself, um, so that, that's my problem more than theirs. Um, but today's honest opinion is on another. It's it's obviously most inspired stuff they do in press, you know, inspired expressions. And today's on another Rosia because Rosias are really expensive. Um, and unless you've got that budget, you're only going to get samples. You're not going to get into Harrods or, you know, go to his shop and um, whatever it is, Mayfair or whatever, um, and buy these bottles. I mean, this one, this one for 100 mLs is about £800. Uh and it's called Britannia. This is the, the inspired expression. This is a 50% oil again. And you can see it is quite heavy and dark. Um, I've used quite a bit of it. But this stuff projects. And it's, it is really strong. I mean, smell it in your clothes two days later. It really is quite powerful. As I say, no frills packaging. The bottles are okay. I've only had one issue with one of the sprayers, but I mean, when it's oil inside, it will tend to block up, so you just need to, need to give it a wee rinse. But it, it's, it's very much like, you know, where I can't, I can't compare it with Britannia because I've never tried Rosier's Britannia, but I'm sure it's got that feel of it, you know, just that smell, that, that kind of, it's very similar to this, I think. My Love, this is Doer's version of uh, Love, which is a Bird Off exclusive. And this is very close to the original, very, very close. And there is a similarity between the two of them. This is slightly, this is different for that, but it's got that kind of smell, that classy kind of rosia smell. Um, it really is a lovely fragrance. Now, this is £35 for 50% oil. You know what I mean? Comes to you within about two or three days. It's a no-brainer. £800. I mean, unless you've got that budget, that's fine. It's that beautiful bottle, that beautiful presentation from Rosia. But 50 you know what I mean? So, two of these, £70, £70 and you would have 100 mLs and 50% oil. And this does project, this is a, a monster projection. I would say when you look up Britannia and Fragantica, Fragrantica, um, it does, a lot of people say it leans slightly feminine. I think it's straight down the middle. Yeah, it's got that powdery smell, that sweet kind of smell. It's meant to be an amber fragrance. I don't get that. I think it's quite close to this. I think it's quite close to this. I think it's maybe a bit of amber, but I don't really get that. I think it's more a kind of powdery sheepra, if that makes sense. Um, but it is quite close to my love. Um, but as I say, if you bought the 100ml, £70, compared to £800, it's a no-brainer. It really is. As I say, it projects really well. It lasts in my skin. I would say it won't sit close till about six hours. Now, that's really good. And you get wee whiffs now and again. It, it really is a nice fragrance. As, as I say, some guys might find it a wee bit slightly feminine. But I think it's straight down the middle. But it is a well worth buy. You know, um, I'm testing quite a lot of these fragrances for this company. I think it's like a lot of companies. It's, I've not come over one yet that I've been... You know, thought no, that's nowhere near it or whatever. Um, although I don't, I've not smelt the original of this, but the ones I've got, I'm really impressed by. It's right up there with Rosa Salas and things like Endure. 
again, as I say, we do a, it's a hit or a miss with a lot of doers as far as I'm concerned. And I've no doubt I'll try a couple of this companies and I'll think, no, they're no quite. But, you know what I mean, it's hard to get it exact, but this is a really well worth fragrance. It's classy, you could you could wear it any time, but I would say it's probably best, I would say, not in heat, not in searing heat. It's got a lot of citruses in it, mandarin and things like that. You could wear it in a cool day. And you could wear it in a summer cool night. It's very elegant, very classy. I would say formal occasions, definitely. Jeans and t-shirt, yeah, I mean, obviously if you're getting it at £35 a time, you could wear it any time. It's a really classy scent. But I would say dressing up, going to a wedding, going to a function, this will go down well. You'll smell like a million bucks, definitely. As I say, similar to this. And I actually layered the two of them. I layered this and with my love and the two of them go really well. They mix really well. You get wee whiffs of both of them. Um, as I say, this one's £35 for 50ml. I think, obviously, I've not looked at the other prices. I think they do up to 100ml and that's a 50% oils. You can get a tester if you're not too sure, which is relatively cheap. But for me, this is a no-brainer. £798 in Selfridges for Britannia, Rosier's Britannia. I put my bottles in a cupboard to keep them cool and away from sunlight. It doesn't matter, I, I'm not really interested in looking at fancy bottles. It's the juice that counts to me. Anyway, I'm not knocking the originals, but for me it's the juice that counts. And these companies, and I'm not just saying it's Rosier, must be making an absolute fortune. Must be making an absolute fortune. Because um, most of the cost, as far as I know, goes in packaging and marketing. So, that tells you a lot. Anyway, hope everybody's safe and well and have a great weekend. Bye for now.